Hi guys, Betsy here with Unique Paper 15. Today's video is part three of the three series watercolor envelope. I'm painting this picture here, which is Norway, and it's a beautiful picture. I got my inspiration from Google. It's a beautiful, um, like a water town kind of with mountains. It's gorgeous, and that's what I learned about Norway. They have a lot of those. It's just completely beautiful country. So I'm masking off my envelope and I'm going to sketch this by hand in my inspiration is that picture. And I'm gonna show it to you again, but I couldn't find any stamps in my arsenal to match the beauty of Norway. So I decided to just sketch this one by myself. So I want to do the best I can. Do you see the water and the mountains and they have a bunch of colorful houses and buildings. So I'm going to use these little building house stamps that I do have and I'm going to stamp those on the side. I'm trying to match this image. You can see I have my phone there on the side um, the best I can. So I'm trying to stagger them to look like, you know, some are closest to too far away. And we know the trick to that is go tall to short. So I'm doing some very basic art here, but you can only do so much on an envelope. So I mask it off. And now what I want to do is I'm, you're going to see, I'm going to cut this down so that I can get a third building out of these stamps. So that's what I'm doing right there. I'm going to stamp this one too because I'm going to actually put the third building behind these two to make it look like they're staggered alongside the water. And uh, I don't know what this actual waterway is in Norway, but oh, it's beautiful. So I'm sketching out the mountains, just a really rough sketch. And all of this is going to be watercolored very lightly. I'm making clouds at the top because the image had it. And that's actually where the stamps are going to go. So now I'm going to go ahead and put it on my clipboard and prep it to paint. I feel like the sketch is basic enough that she'll get the, the idea that I'm trying to paint Norway. So at least I hope she does. So I'm going to just go ahead and start, well, what am I doing there? I want to dry my water off. So now I'm going to come in and I'm going to start with the mountains and I'm giving them like a light gray and I'm trying to give all of my shadow on the left side so that I can kind of like fade the gray out to give a little bit of dimension to where these mountains actually have ridges. So I'm using my water brush to just thin this gray color out so that it's not too dark because I do want the address to be uh, clear and legible so that it actually makes it through the post okay. So all I'm doing here is just basically watercoloring these mountain ridges and I'm thinning them out as light as I can without washing it away so that you can still tell that they're mountains. And it's working pretty well. I'm able to add a little bit of dimension and then there's that very, very tall mountain that goes into the cloud. That picture was so cool. I would love to go to that place one day and I wonder if she's ever been there. So I'm gonna go ahead and dry it off a little bit and make sure that it's the gray that I want. And now I'm gonna start with the water. I'm obviously going to go with my darker blues along the edge of the mountain there where it meets the land. And then I'm going to fade to the lighter blues the closer we get to the, I guess, the bottom of the card, which would be like the front. So I'm just adding a few different shades of blue to make this beautiful water. And I'm going to dab it off a little bit just to make sure that I get the shades I need. Add a little more water and let it blend out. And this is also going to be, again, where part of the address will be. So I can't make it too dark. So here we go. I'm just going to absorb some of that color. And it took a lot off. So I'm just going to keep adding a few different shades of blue. And this was so nice of these, these women to share their address with me. I thought that was so kind. I asked on Instagram one day if anybody would be willing. And I thought, oh, I probably shouldn't have done that. And everybody responded. I was so lucky. So anyways, what I'm doing here is I'm adding some green. I'm 
putting the trees behind those houses. I don't know if you saw in the picture, but there were beautiful trees back there. So I'm just doing that by hand, some basic green blobs. See there? It looks like trees because there's like different shades of green and it's just very loosely done. So now I'm coming in and I wanna paint these houses. In the picture, the houses or stores, whatever they were, they were so colorful. Every building was a different color. So I'm choosing red for this first house here. And I'm gonna give it like some just light yellow windows. And then I'm going to go behind it. I'm gonna color the house, well, the house next to it, I'm gonna color blue. And you'll see here, and again, I end up giving those windows yellow as well so i'm just giving a darker blue darker than the water i want this house to be very vibrant if again if you see the picture these houses are just it's like a rainbow of colors it's really pretty and now i'm going to the house behind and i'm going to give that an orange color i figured stick with the primaries those are you know very bright colors and Again, it's going to look very fun going through the post, and I, I hope it brings a smile to her face when she receives it. And I'm not some master painter here. I just wanted to have fun with, you know, my new envelope maker and, and uh, see if I could do some watercolor envelopes. So now I'm going around this cloud. I'm making sky, but remember, I sketched out that big cloud from the picture so that I'd also have room to put the stamps. So I'm just adding blue everywhere there's a gap between those mountains and the cloud. Just very simple here. Even at the top. I'm going to dry it off and make sure I don't need to add any additional colors. Make sure it's all nice and dry. Some final touches. Dry it off again. Now I'm going to add some very light white to that cloud just so it looks like it's been painted somewhat so it's not like the color of the paper you can tell that something was done to this but again it's white basic and I'll be able to put the postage on top of it so now that I have my sketch done this is it kind of looks like the picture so now I'm gonna go ahead and I need to um, find where I'm going to actually put the address. I'm going to take one of my Copic multi-liners and now I see her address there and I know that I need four lines for her. So I sketched out basic lines in pencil which I erase, erase later and I just hand write her address and I was trying to make this look, I don't know, Norwegian, like Viking-ish, just something like that came to mind. So I did the best hand script I could for that. And that's what I'm doing there. And now that I have finished her address all the way down to the Norway, I just want to thicken it up a little bit. And that's it. That's how it ended up turning out. I really like it. I like all the bright colors. So now that I've done the address, I'm going to take my score tape and I'm going to go ahead and make the envelope. I want to use my bone folder to make sure that this, uh, you know, really stays flat in the mail because it is kind of thick. I used heavyweight uh, water paper, which I'll put in the description below. So I'm putting score tape on all the flaps, making sure that it sticks very well. I want this to arrive in one piece. And again, I used distress glaze on all of these envelopes at the end. And there you go, I'm showing you the envelope, and it works. It's stuck together, and there you go. This is the envelope that I'm going to be uh, sending to Norway. I hope Lena likes it. I certainly do. It was a lot of fun to make. So here's the collection. The first one is going to the Netherlands, to Tamara. The second one is going to Miss Barati in India. That was a fun one to make. And the third one is going to Lena in Norway. I hope you guys liked the, the series. It was a lot of fun to make. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like, subscribe, and share. And please also come back for more videos. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.